Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to get these ugly oxidized lights into some clear, almost brand new lights. We're going to say we're going to spend ten dollars, pretty much, instead of two hundred dollars per light to make them look like new. So what you first do is you tape it off, tape off the area, and then you're going to need some. You're going to need some four hundred grit sandpaper and some six hundred grit and some two thousand grit. You're also going to need the uh, clear gloss. It seals, protects, and revitalizes, and it bonds to plastic. It's non-yellowing, and it's UV resistant. You're gonna need some alcohol to wipe down the lights in between. You're gonna need some car wax, and I think that's it for now to get this project started. Let's do it. Another thing that I forgot to mention, all the materials required for this project is a water bottle, a spray bottle, because you're going to be wet sanding with these uh, sandpaper pieces. So what we're gonna do now that we have it taped off is we're going to wet sand. And what you wanna do is have this wet all the time and have constant um, water going at the light as you are doing circular motions with the 400. So we're going to do circular motions with the 400 constant water. All right, let's do it. So you don't want to um, go too hard because this is pretty coarse So compared to the others. So you're kind of just um, lightly doing it. And you can see all this milky stuff coming off. That's all the oxidation. Here is how milky it is with the uh, 600 grit. And with this one, you're gonna press a little bit harder and go side to side, like I said. But you can press a little bit harder with this one. With the 400, you wanted to just kind of lightly get some scratches in on, on there. That's what it's looking like. We're gonna spray it down with water. Kevin's filling up the water port shower. All right, so what we're gonna do next is grab a trash bag cut off the bottom so that we can open it up get some good scissors and then cut down one of the sides so we can open it up we're going to mask around the the light and we're going to tape it onto this tape area that's what the tape is for to tape down onto this and we don't want to overspray any of the clear gloss that we're about to put on these lights onto our matte finish of our van so we're going to do that now and then start the spray so we've been using this uh, water port to uh, wash off the lights. Uh, we're going to show you a link up here. We just uh, got this and did a review on it. It's a pretty sweet little thing. So if you want to check that out, that's what we've been using to wash off the van. Right now I'm just taping the plastic. So now it's time after the alcohol wipe down uh, to start using our clear coat of paint. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around, like around the top, around the bottom, and and we're going to be a little further back there, like maybe like eight inches back. That way you don't get too much spray. So that's after one coat of the spray. We're going to do a couple more coats. This is what it looks like before the spray. So if it look, it's looking kind of foggy the spray will clear it up. Look at that, wow, it almost looks brand new. So we did three coats of this, we waited five minutes in between each coat and what this is going to do is it's going to resist all those UV rays that oxidizes it and turns it yellow. So you're really protecting your lights with this kind of forever. Um, so hopefully that'll stop your problems from it getting yellow. We're going to wait 24 hours to take all this off. And there is an option to, after 24 hours, you can see what it looks like. And then you can wet sand it at the 2000 grit or you can skip that step because you do the wet sand at 2000 grit because when you do spray paint um you're using that 2000 grit because the spray paint kind of creates what they call an orange peel effect where it's kind of like uh splotchy from the spray paint 
Um, so the 2000 grit, you're just going to lightly wet sand that off so that it's smooth and doesn't have those spray paint texture. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do a wax because it's just like your paint job. You're going to wax your lights because they're painted now and protected. So we've let the three coats dry for 24 hours and now we're going to take the plastic off and I think we might go straight to buffing. I guess it depends on how it feels. So I just finished with a wet sand with the 2000 grit and now I'm going to use the turtle wax to wax it out. And now we're going to let that dry to a haze and then we're going to remove it and see how it looks. So now that this has dried to a haze, it's dry, we're going to take a cloth. I can't remember if it's a damp cloth. It's kind of damp. Remove excess with the soft cloth. Buff lightly for maximum shine. Okay, let's do it. All right, guys, well, we've taken the wax off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for all you people that have used vehicles with oxidized lights. Uh, let us know in the comments if you know of any other secrets we missed. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And thanks for watching.